recording has started. Let everyone know they are being recorded. I need to say that according to law or something. I don't know. Or There's common decency. <laughs> there, there actually are laws in China. Yeah. Well, I heard over there you could you could run over fools and and uh, as long as you you make sure you're they're dead you're you're okay right? <laughs> oh man, they, they actually started cracking down on that. Um, so you you probably heard about like um, what what a what do they call it outside of China the um, social credit systems like like a lot of people say social credit system but it, it's not one thing it's it's like multiple uh, separate independent agencies that. Um, keep track of various things. For example, traffic laws. Um, you know, in America, for example, they've got um, the Department of Motor Vehicles. They, they keep track of, um, you know, what you do on the road. So for a very long time in China, yeah, you were exactly right. If, if you had a traffic accident, it was cheaper to pay the fine for killing somebody on the road as opposed to paying their medical bills for the rest of their life if they were crippled. And so I I had actually seen this before. I had actually seen people get run over and then the person would stop, back up, run them over again to make sure they were dead and go on. And th this comes off as shocking to a lot of Westerners who come from these countries with car culture like, uh, you know, America where you know, cars have been the norm, traffic laws have been the norm for a very long time. In China, however, it's, um, cars are a fairly new thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's really just this, this modern generation that has had access to uh, motor vehicles in large numbers. So um, what, what this particular social credit uh, system that follows um, traffic laws does is rewards people for good behavior on the road. For example, it rewards them for stopping for pedestrians. And that, that might seem like a given, like, well, of course you're supposed to stop for pedestrians. Well, yeah, in America, people know that they've been doing it for generations. In China, it's a fairly new thing. Um, because when I got here, the, the rules of the road went like this. Basically, if, if your vehicle was bigger and more threatening, you had the right of way. <laughs> and so if you were a pedestrian, you had to play a live action game of Frogger, you know, that old 1980s video game to jump across the road and hope you didn't get squished. And now people will actually stop to you. They'll, they'll, they'll stop for you and let you cross at a crosswalk or a stoplight. They won't try to, you know, murder you on the way. So progress. Yes, there, there are laws in China now. Okay, okay, but you know, like, I'm not, I'm not too surprised in the sense that, I mean, there's a lot of people in China. Yes, you know, and and things evolve pretty quick. You know, like like you said before, maybe there wasn't a lot of cars. Now everybody has cars, and then like you, you know, it takes more time to to um, uh, you know re reeducate and get people on the same page, so to speak, to do the same thing, to function in yeah. society because there's just so many people. So you know, uh, I, I don't judge them for that at all. It's it's just you know it's just funny that they used to just run over people, and yeah. Because it was I mean, cheaper. It was not an uncommon thing, man. It was not an uncommon thing at all. But yeah, but it's, you know, it's, it's absolutely staggering. Like, like, it's one thing to say 1.4 billion people. Like, people think they know what that means. But to actually um, understand how many 1.4 billion people is, it's, uh, it is, it's staggering. Like, the, the first time I uh, stepped on a subway, like a, a metro train in Shanghai, it was it was mind blowing to me. It was a sea of humans as far as the eye could see, just packed in. I was like, it it made me claustrophobic. I, I grew up in a very small town, a, a town with like a thousand people and twenty thousand cows, and seeing <laughs> way more people than that, including the cows, just crammed into a subway car, that was a little overwhelming. And everyone around me is just like, eh, this is normal. I was like, this isn't normal. This is weird. Ah, you know, it was, uh, that was one of the most unnerving experiences of my, of my life, to be honest, but I'm so used to it now that, uh, going to a place with wide open spaces and low populations, it's, uh, it's like, wow, this is, this is nice. This is different. This is ooh, peaceful. 